Gog, and welcome to our third tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on Viger, the tiny master of evil. And Viger is personally the first champ I actually ever started maining when I was uh, new to the game. So I have some good insight on him, and although you only see him in a lot of high elo play, he is one of the best bursters in the game, and he actually has the highest potential to do the most damage in the game. So I'll show you guys how to do that coming up. First off, let's do runes. On Viger, I run pretty standard uh, cast runes on him. I do flat cooldown blues, ability power quints, magic pen reds, and I do uh, ability power yellows as well. Another option I choose to go sometimes is switching out my yellows for mana regen per level yellows, and then switching the blues from cooldown reduction blues back to flat AP blues. Viger is a mana whore in the beginning really hard, and you need that beginning game to farm up. So getting those mana regen per level yellows will help you all game long as well as with your early game farming. However, I do know some people that choose to like going instead of flat AP quints and flat AP anything, they trade out all where your flat AP would be for magic pen. The point being there is that Viger actually farms AP, so he doesn't really need that additional AP in his room page, so magic pen ruins would be a good way to go as well. Next up is Mastery. On Viger I get standard caster masteries while getting magic pen and offense as well as getting 21 points in utility to focus on my cooldown reduction in both my basic abilities as well as getting the cooldown reduction bonus on flash. These masteries help Viger in lane as well as late game with all the cooldown reduction as well as magic pen you accrue from it. Next let's talk about items on Viger. If you're taking a solo lane that's either mid or top as Viger, you want to grab a mechie pen and two health potions to get the sustainability that you'll need. If you're going to go with a partner in lane, you should probably grab a Dorn's Rig to be a little bit more tankier, as well as do a little bit more damage in your lane. The reason you want to get a Dorn's Blade if you're in a duo lane is because your Q will level up slower, so it will be harder to last hit with it. Therefore, the extra AP will help you with the last hitting. And after that, no matter what, you're going to build a tier first. That's before boots, before everything. The reasoning for this is because, as I stated earlier, Viger is a mana whore all game long. And to remedy that, you need to buy a tier early so that late game you won't be hurting for mana as much. After that, you want to finish your magic pen boots and complete your tier into an Archangel Staff. At this point in the game, you'll be hitting pretty hard with just the staff, but after that, you want to rush directly to a death cap, as Viger is one of the champions that benefits most from the death cap. Now, once you get to this point in the game, you've already spent a lot of money. Archangels and death cap is not cheap at all. So, it's going to be a big decision what to buy next. You can either decide to go more AP, or you can decide to finally build some defensive items with Viger. The way I do it is that I build a Rylas Crystal Statue to get both more AP as well as more HP to build Viger a little bit tankier. However, if you want to go straight Squish Viger, a Death Grasp is never a bad decision on him to add an extra number to his combo. Also, you can build a Lich's Bane because the mass AP you'll be getting can also benefit greatly from this. However, if you're feeling like you're doing enough damage, don't ever hesitate to get pretty tanky items on Viger. A Banshee's Veil, any armor item is also great on him once you get your death cap. However, if your positioning is good enough as Viger, you won't need these tanky items as much. Now let's talk about Viger skills. Viger's Q is a simple damage dealing spell, however it has a passive that helps Viger a lot towards the late game. Every time Viger last hits a minion with his Q, he'll get one bonus ability power. In addition to this, every level you put on Q, if you kill an enemy champion, you get bonus ability power. During your early game, all you want to do is last hit with your Q, so you're more viable late game. Next is Viger's W, Dark Matter. Viger's W is his most damaging normal spell. However, it also costs the most mana to use, so you don't want to use this to harass as much early game. It also has the best scaling on all of Viger's abilities. Using Dark Matter with Viger's Event Horizon, his E ability, is one of the best ways to do damage to enemy champions. Always keep in mind though that if you don't have Event Horizon up, you can still use Dark Matter by placing it correctly. Also, towards the later ends of the game, anytime you can, you want to drop a Dark Matter in Banshees just to get a little bit of extra gold. Next is Viger's E ability, Event Horizon. Event Horizon is an AoE stun that stuns on the edges of the border that is created. This spell has many uses, the most ideal being to land your combo. However, you can also use this ability when you're chasing down enemies or in a teamfight to lock down multiple enemies at the same time. You're going to throw one in this ability early game and leave it there just so you can have that stun. And finally, we have Viger's Ultimate. Viger's Ultimate is a single target nuke that takes 90% of their ability power and converts it into damage for the nuke itself. Needless to say, you're going to be using this on squishies and just squishies, and you're going to be trying to focus the enemy casters, because they are the ones that stack ability power. This ability also scales with 120% of your ability power, and with Viger's Q's passive, it also has the most potential to do damage in the game. 
Your job with this ultimate is to take down the enemy caster or squishy champion in a team fight to make it a 4v5 no matter what. And finally, we have Viger's passive. Viger's passive is every 1% of total mana he's missing, he gets another additional 1% into his mana regeneration. This skill isn't help as well late game as you'll be building that Archangel staff. However, early game when you're trying to just last hit with your Q, it helps a bunch. In case you didn't notice, Riot actually used the Chalice of Harmony ability for Viger's passive. Now I'm going to teach you about the Viger combo. Viger's full combo is possibly the most damaging combo in the game, and it has possibly the most burst in the game as well. Depending on who you're targeting and how well you farmed early game with your Q, your combo can do massive amounts of damage. What you want to do, like I'm showing in these clips, is you want to first throw out your event horizon and wait till the person is stunned by your event horizon. You normally want to aim the event horizon somewhere where your opponents will be running into. Then as soon as they touch the event horizon, then you want to throw down your W right on top of them or maybe a little bit ahead of them where they're going to try to run out of the way. Then after you plant your W, you're going to run in there and you're going to Q them and then you're going to follow that up with an ult. However, don't waste your ult if you know the damage amount isn't going to be enough to kill them. Your ult should only be used if you're 100% sure that you can net a kill off of it. If you're not going to net a kill off of it, you're just going to simply throw down your event horizon, throw down your W, and then hit them with your Q. And then that's going to be your maximum harass. Either way, towards the end of the game, you should be melting AP carries and melting squishies on their team. Effectively turning team fights from 5v5 to 4v5 into your team's favor. Alright guys, that's going to do it for our Viger tutorial. Like last time, this time I'm going to put a little compilation at the end with the extra clips that I have left over from the games. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe above. If you uh, have a comment on something, if you don't like the build, uh, comment below. I know people like to build different things on Viger, so this is just my personal thinking of the best way to build him so thank you guys for watching the whole thing the whole thing the whole thing and uh, this is Beacock for the lead cast and I'll see you guys next time